Hey everyone, it's Natural Gabby. So by the title, you can tell that this is gonna be a video about how I stay organized as an unorganized student. So if you're looking for an organizational guru, you've clicked on the wrong video. I'm very minimal when it comes to organizational things and I'm real cheap when it comes to buying planners, notebooks, pencils. So if you're like me, keep watching. In order to stay organized in school, it's really important to find an agenda or planner that fits your needs, whether that's the size of the planner, how the calendar is laid out. So for me, I really enjoy just simple planners like this. I got this one from Ross for $7, if you can see that. I'm not the type to spend $30 on a planner. So I chose this planner because it gives me the monthly view at the beginning. So I typically write down all of my assignments. I print out all the syllabi, but I like using multicolored highlighters to keep me organized with each class, just so I can have like a really good idea of what's going on, what I need to tackle for the week. There's an area at the bottom where you can write all of your reminders. So in an area like this, I would typically write my to-do list, and I'm such a checklist type girl. I create my checklist weekly, so I write down all of the weekly assignments that I have for that week, and I prioritize them based off of their due dates and based off of how much time I would have to do dedicated towards them. So it's just some type of fulfillment I feel when I'm able to just check stuff off. I'm able to visualize my list getting smaller and smaller. So in grad school, it's important to have a work-life balance. Whenever my friends wanna hang out, I go ahead and jot that down on my agenda just so I can see and visualize what I have to do for the week. So any outside obligations outside of school, I write that in my agenda as well, just so I can stay organized and try to stay on top of all of my tasks and all of my relationships outside of school. So to go along with the checklist, each morning I try to wake up and allow myself about 10 minutes to go over my weekly checklist that I just previously mentioned. And it kind of helps me tackle the day. So I'm already able to conceptualize what I have to get done for the entire week rather than just waking up and just, okay, what's next? Because I want me to happen to the day. I don't want the day to happen to me. So by looking at my checklist in the morning, I'm able to put my best foot forward each day. So another thing for me, this may seem elementary school, not quite sure, but this is one thing I didn't do in undergrad. I like having notebooks for each subject. In undergrad, I had a five subject notebook, but that didn't really work well for me because I would just run out of paper in one and flipped over the divider and started writing over there for the next subject, for the previous subject, and it just got me really disorganized. But for graduate school, I love having separate notebooks for each course. For this year, I have this notebook, this one, this one, and these aren't all my notebooks, but these are just the ones that I'm showing. But yes, this is how I stay organized. I make sure that they are distinctively different. That way I know which class they belong to. So, yeah. So one thing that's really helped me, especially during anatomy, during my first semester of occupational therapy school, was using a sketchbook or a bullet journal to draw out the lectures because I'm a very visual and tactile learner. And this helped me get an A in the class and I just wanna share this tip with you guys. So for example, how I learned different concepts in anatomy, I would draw them out, if you could see that. I'm a very visual learner and by me re-listening to the lectures and drawing it out and following what the PowerPoints would say, that really helped me conceptualize and really grasp the information. This bullet journal right here saved my life in anatomy class because in undergrad I didn't really take note of my learning styles and how I conceptualize information. But once I got into graduate school, I learned very quickly that I had to do some self-evaluation and figure out how I learned best. Once I did that self-reflecting and tried to figure out how I learned best, I became a better student. So one other organizational tip that's worked for me in graduate school has been having this external hard drive. There have been so many times where I've had like the regular USB or I've saved all my assignments on my laptop and for some reason it just 
got completely white and just stopped working. So I couldn't handle that heartache anymore, so I went ahead and purchased this $35 external hard drive. It has a warranty and it actually allows you to back up all the information that's on the external hard drive. I like breaking off all of my assignments that I've completed into folders related to the class and the semester. So I would have a summer 2019 folder and then in those folders I would have the classes that I had and in those class folders I would have all the assignments that I had completed or any type of feedback that I've received from the professor. So it's really important, especially in graduate school, to archive all of that information and keep it with you because you never know when you'll have to refer back to some articles that you read or an assignment that you did, some research that you conducted. So it's very important to have this external hard drive. This can take you very, very, very far in life, but the only way that it'll work is if you continually back it up. Please guys, back it up. Don't be like me in undergrad, cramming at the last minute. Always be prepared, get you an external hard drive. Yes. So I know some students love post-it notes. They love just to post them all over the place. That gives me anxiety. I can't handle all that just extra stuff just floating around like, oh, what is this, what is this? I can't do it. So I keep all of my to-do list either in my agenda or there's an app on your MacBook and I believe PCs it's called post-it it's an electric post-it note and it stays on your home screen and you can just type in all your assignments if you choose to do it that way if you want to keep it digital and save the trees which you know so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you're interested in seeing more videos related to my graduate studies whether it's organizational tips or study tips let me know down in that comment box down below okay make sure you give it a big thumbs up like it comment subscribe share it do all that and i'll see y'all in the next video bye